Welcome back aliens, my name is Arvind Reddy and in this video we will talk about file system module in Node.js. See in the earlier video we have talked about modules, right? So now we know that if you want to work on a project, you maybe want to create your own modules and you may want to use some third party modules. And then we have some modules inbuilt in Node.js as well. And one of them is file system. Now see, when you have a programming language, when you want to work with projects, of course you need to work with files as well. Maybe you want to write something in a file, maybe you want to read a file. Uh, so how do we do that? Now thankfully Node.js has a file system module which we have talked about. So let's use that file system module in this video and we'll try to write a file, we'll try to read a file and let's try to append a file and maybe we can try to delete as well. Now, I'm not going for any complex example, let's go for simple examples just to understand how do we use a file system module and then we'll also see how to use inbuilt modules, right? That's the idea here. Now, first of all, I don't want to use any external library or external code, so let's remove that. This is what we have done in the earlier video. So here, I want to use a file system module. Now, first of all, which file I'm going to work with. So if you remember, see, we can work with any file here. We can work with text file, uh, JS file, Java file, doesn't matter, right? So the file should be readable, that's it. Now, if you have this file here, you can see we have this cal.js. Let's read this file. Is it possible? Can we read a programmer, programming file? Is it possible? And the answer is yes. And this is one of the assignments which normally you get in colleges or uh, in uh, uh, online uh, competition. How do you read a file? Let's try that. So I will read this calc file and let's read the content of this file and let's print that on a console. Now for that, we have to first of all get the file system reference or file system module here. And we know if you want to get a file system, so it is required and in, in the single code, you have to mention the, uh, the name of the module, which is FS in this case. Uh, instead of going for file system, they, go, they went with FS. That's a smart move. And let's put that in a reference or the, uh, let's put that in reference, which is FS. So we got fs, which is a file system reference here, and now we want to read a file. Now, how do we do that? So we can say fs dot. Now, if you say fs, you, you, you can see we have a list of uh, commands here, a list of functions. We need to use the function, which is read file. Let's use that. Now, this read file will take actually three parameters. One of them is optional, I guess. The second parameter is optional. The first parameter you have to mention here is the name of the file. And the name of the file is calc.js. Let's use that. The second parameter, which is optional, which is you have to mention the type of the file or the uh, format of the file or the encoding to be specific. Uh, so let's mention the encoding. Uh, in this case, the encoding is UTF-8. Let's use that. So you have to check what type of encoding is there in the file and then you have to specify that here. It is optional. Uh, if you skip, it will not read the file in a UTF format, but it will not give you error at least. So the first parameter was the file name. The second parameter is the encoding. The third parameter is a callback function. See what happens is when you say read file. Now reading a file will maybe a, it's a time consuming operation. And then Node.js has a feature which is called non-blocking IO, which means when you say read file, it may take some, some time, maybe five seconds, 10 seconds, maybe one second. You don't want to stop the execution. You don't want to pause the execution. So maybe read file process is going on and then in the backend, and then you can continue with the rem remaining statements. And then, but how do you know that the read file function is done its job. I mean, it will come back, right? So you have to call a callback function. So again, we'll talk about this in detail once we start with, once we talk about that concept of non-blocking IO. Now, depending upon when you're watching this video, if you're watching this after a long time, uh, that video might have gone to the uh, top of the playlist. So, and it doesn't matter. So let's use a callback function here. So whenever it completes the reading of the file, it will call this function. But then this function will have two parameters. The first one, what if there's an error? Right, so the first parameter will be function or the error, and the second parameter is the data. Now, once you complete reading the file, that data will be stored inside this data variable. Of course, this can be any name, doesn't matter. And then let's do the process here. So basically, what we are doing is we are saying, hey, read the file uh, in the UTF format. But then, while reading a file, if you get the error, this error will have the information. But what if there's no there's no error? In that case, we'll be having data here. And once you got the data, of course, you can check for the exception if you can, you can check for the errors. As of now, we don't want to focus on those things. Let's print the data as it is. And how do we print data? It's very simple. You say console.log and let's print the data as it is. Simple, right? So this should work. Let's go back to our console. And here I will say, uh, let's run this file, which is node app.js, enter. And you can see in the output, in the command, in the, in the terminal, we got the code. That's awesome, right? So this 
so the the content of this cs.js or calc.js is there inside uh, is there on the console that's awesome so that's how you can read a file but what if you want to write a file uh, let's try so what i will do is in this case if i want to write a file it's very simple you, you just have to use a function called write file the way we have read file of course we should have a write file here now this write file will take three parameters the first one is the name of the file so let's create a new file just for the experiment so i will say calc dot js oh sorry calc one dot js the second parameter is the code which you uh, the, the content you watch which you want to uh, write in this case i'm writing a code and that's why i will say console dot log you know if you heard about this concept where a software can write a software so that's what you're doing a uh, one app a uh, one code can write another code i know uh, we are doing a very simple task but we can do that right so here i will print uh, done so i will just say console dot log done and then so the third parameter is after completing this job after writing the data in a file if you want to print something or if you want to do some operation you can do that here but what if there's an error so let's also take the handle of the error and let's print something i will say console dot log and we'll say data saved i mean of course you can write anything you want but let's say data saved uh, what if what do you think will it work let's try so I'll go back to my node and app.js you can see we got uh, the output it says data saved and interestingly we got another file so the file was not there so your code is actually creating a file that's awesome now if you jump back to this file you got uh, calc1.js so that, that's right it is creating a file and then it is simply writing content but what if uh, what if you write content in calc.js what will happen i'm writing the same code which is console.log done in calc.js now which is already there so what do you think when you write that will it be the last line of this code or will it replace the entire code so that's that's a, that's your question pause this video write down your com your comment uh, will it replace the entire code or will it append it at the end so let's try i hope you have written your answer Let's try and you can see say data saved and it is replacing the entire content. That's what write does. So it will wipe up the content and it will write the con it will write the new content there. But we don't want to write a new content, right? We want to append it if it is ex existing file. Now in that case, what we can do is instead of using write file, we can say append file. Okay, now once you say append file, let's try to run this code. Let's see what happens. If I run this code, it says data saved but what happened to this file and you can see in this file we got append so it is adding the data at the end that's what we wanted right so we got the content so you can use write file which will replace the entire content you can use append file which is append your data at the end uh, so that's work that wo that is working i just want to check one more thing how about deleting the data deleting the file so let's say we have this calc1.js which is not required i want to delete it so let's go back go back to the code here and this time let's just let's delete it so which function we have to use here of course there should be a function right we have function for writing reading and for deleting of course we should be saying delete right but unfortunately we don't have that method name so the method name here is unlink so we have to use unlink and in this you have to pass a parameter now you can guess of course the file name should be i mean the parameter should be the file name right so we'll say calc1.js that's the file name and then we have to mention the callback function now what does callback function is now once you delete this file what you want to execute so i will say hey once you delete a file in case there's an error give me the handle so that i can do something with the error but in this case i don't want to do anything with the error i just want to print delete it that's it let's save this and i hope this will work so let me just say node app.js enter and you can see it says deleted and if you see the file system or the file explorer we don't have calc1.js anymore that works so that's how we use unlink uh, to delete a file so we have talked about how to create a file how to open a file how to uh, read and then we have seen how to delete a file i hope you enjoyed the video let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos Bye bye